June 1st, 2015 from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas. It was WWE's Raw and Neville versus Bo Dallas. So Bo Dallas came out first and he said that he, you know, he had wanted to help Neville, but now he wants to hurt him. So Bo Dallas, man, he he's usually so cheery, so positive and upbeat, but now he's getting pissed. Now he's he's lost his patience from being so positive and being so cheery now. He's just mad after what happened to him at Elimination Chamber. And so here he was going up against Neville, and he was taking it to Neville early on. You know, he was bringing the hurt to him, and he was in control as he was using some wrestling moves to keep Neville grounded as he was trying to keep him from taking off and taking flight because he is the man that gravity forgot. But eventually, uh, Neville would escape a European headlock, and then he started unloading on Dallas with some kicks, and they ended up setting him up, and he got him in the right position. I th I'm not sure if he had an insiguri, but he ended up, you know, it was he was just like unloading on the kicks, and then you know bouncing off the rope a couple times. And once he got him in the right spot, he went up top, and he nailed him with the red arrow, and it was one, two, three, Neville wins. So that was pretty cool. I like both Bo Dallas and Neville. I thought it was a pretty good match, and I thought it was pretty good, you know, seeing them uh, they're further in the progression of this feud. I think it's a good feud. It was a good feud down in NXT, and I'm glad that they rekindled it here on the main roster. And like I said, these guys are both excellent in the ring. Like, watching the matches, they're awesome. Like, Bo Dallas, he's very believable. Like, when he's in there, and he, just even something as simple as a headlock, he, he makes it so much more, like, interesting and exciting. Like, just by the way the facial expressions, and he just starts yelling and screaming. Like, he's crazy. It's He's awesome. And then Neville, of course, he's amazingly athletic. Like, his high-flying maneuvers and everything is just awesome. And, of course, he perfected that over in Japan. You know, they have a very, you know, uh, disciplined and strict, you know, regiment that they follow to become so, you know, you know, perfect in their execution of all these very difficult moves that Neville does. So you got to respect that for sure. And the Red Arrow is just one of the awesomest moves that have you know been in the WWE that have come along in a long time so it's pretty sweet definitely enjoyed the match and definitely enjoy seeing these guys mix it up and you know it's gonna be interesting to see what happens from here you know what happens with Bo Dallas is he gonna he's obviously gonna keep coming for him but he's been you know losing now so is he gonna end up you know uh, calling for backup and it could it be Harper and Rowan and maybe his brother Bray Wyatt? Well, we shall see. Only time will tell. Is I think that actually Bo Dallas kind of even right now tonight was revealing a little bit. You know, they, he actually the whole time has been with Bray. Even though, it, it, like, there's more to it behind the scenes going on. That they just, you know, they, they weren't telling you that Bo Dallas, you know, that him and Bray Wyatt... Like, they had, like, this thing going where Bo Dallas was convinced that it was almost like in the desert when the devil and Jesus made, like, a deal. And they said, all right, he's like, I could save the world and everybody's going to be positive. And Bray Wyatt's like, well, no, Bo. People aren't positive. People are negative. They don't give a crap about all that. He's like, no, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you. And then he went out there and they had a deal like, oh, if you could turn everybody positive, then, uh, you know, we'll let it be but if not then the eater of worlds will come behind you and then you're gonna have to join forces with your brother Bray Wyatt if you can't turn them positive and he came out there he tried to get people to believe but nobody would believe that's why he said you gotta just believe just believe but no one would listen to him and now he's gonna have to join forces with his brother to take down everybody and everything on the rosters and they're just gonna go through just taking everybody out. The Wyatt family, Bo Dallas, Bray Wyatt, Harper and Rowan. is going to be crazy. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Like I said, this match was pretty cool with Neville and Bo Dallas. And we'll see what happens, you know, moving forward from here. And this actually leads into the main event. So, but let me know what you think about that in the comments section below. Thank you very much for listening. It is appreciated.